Welcome to this not so random but off schedule live stream four o'clock on a Wednesday. Uh, we are going to be tasting some really incredible stuff. This right here is uh, Hot Meyer. It's a twelve-year-old, it's a twelve-year-old bourbon that was basically designed for uh, charities to raise money for charities. Uh, but there are like twenty-four or forty bottles in the Kentucky market. Uh, I'm just telling you right now, it's absolutely fantastic, and uh, we're gonna have some quick talks with the uh, with the with the creator of it, Jeff Hopmeyer, here in a minute. So he's gonna be joining here in a pre-recorded episode, and then I've got a West Virginia only portcast finish, uh, Old Scalp. This is a this is an uh, exceptional uh, port finish. That is for the West Virginia market only. And then we've got the Schoonover, an uncut, unfiltered uh, bourbon with uh, uh, maple smoke. It's uh, real, real, real interesting from a distillery in Indiana. Now, my special guest today, and you'll get to meet him after after the quick talk with, uh, with Jeff. A special guest today is uh, Jay Pierce, who's... Uh, God, he's on his way to becoming an iconic artist, and really, he's he's a uh, famous, especially in those in the art community. He's um he does work for Samuel L. Jackson and LeBron James, and just highly, highly sought after. Super, super interesting cat. Super, super talented. And get this, he's not really a bourbon drinker. He he smokes a little something, something. But we're gonna try and cha- we're gonna try and train him today to be a <laughs> bourbon drinker. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and play this uh, as people kind of come into the live stream. Uh, I'm going to play this interview for you all with uh, Jeff Hopmeyer. Enjoy. Yeah. And so joining me is uh, Jeff Hopmeyer. You may have seen him, may recall him from being on uh, Bourbon Pursuit. We interviewed him, um, gosh, I want to say it was two years ago now. It was a year ago. How long ago was it? I mean, COVID's been, it's like extracted so much out of my life. I don't even know what the. What Feels the like. For- yeah. <laughs> Feels like forever. So, all right. So tell us the story behind this little gym right here. The yeah. the, the 12-year-old Hopmeyer. 
I I know I was supposed to keep it a secret, but you know better. I can't I can't keep secrets like uh, like good yeah, whiskey, dangerous, you know. Dangerous. So one of the things I realized about being in the bourbon trading business <laughs> was you get hit up a lot by charities and other friends and things wanting bourbon from you. Mm -hmm. So knowing that we have about, I think, 18,000 barrels today under management or within our realm, mm -hmm. um, I decided to make some choice barrels uh, into my own brand that I only share on a very extremely limited basis uh, with friends and family and, and charity auction type stuff. Uh, it is a fully vetted Cola TTB label. Uh, it is distributed only in one state and limited distribution. But we really only do about 46 packs of it. Uh, and like most things I do, when it's gone, it's gone. So... But you, you have in order for you to do that, like through charities and everything, you have to legally go through the TTB process and everything. Yes, that okay. is that is a hundred percent legal registered TTB process. Cola label. I, I think they rejected it three times and then came back, and it is high <laughs> proof. Hundred, it's one hundred twenty five proof rejected three times by the federal government. So you know it must be good. Um. And you're you're sitting on a few barrels, it sounds like. And why why did you choose these? Why did you choose these? Um... There's seven barrels, um, six, seven, seven, seven barrels. Um, you, you know, I, I don't consider myself um, uh, the best taster of stuff or the best person to enjoy bourbon because. I know this is going to kill you, but I mix most everything with Diet Coke. Um, I'm sorry. I'm but, sorry, Jeff. You came in broken up there. I didn't hear that. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Um, but I, I happen to have the advantage of partaking in lots of it. And I just found these to be really unique, really good taste. And I know similar barrels uh, from this group are in many of the most prestigious, highest accoladed brands that are out there today. Uh, and I just did it as a, as a pure straight from mm -hmm. cask, uh, to the bottle. And where, where is this from? You really want to know, I know that, and you know, oh. I can't tell you that. Uh, the, those, those doggone lawyers in their NDAs. Uh, I moved my, my head today so i don't have the horns behind me like i did for <laughs> you. So, so I, I i couldn't tell you but it, it is at least 12 years old all right but we do know it's not from kentucky it is it's, no it is kentucky it is kentucky it's, it's a hundred percent kentucky product okay all right you know there we go i see product of the bluegrass state the united states of america why did you you could have just you could have just, you know, say Kentucky straight bourbon. Maybe that's why the TTB like rejected you. They were like, why is this guy not putting Kentucky on here? It is, a, you know, a little bit of my creative genes trying to uh, make an old school label. <laughs> I love it. You know what? In tasting it, it is um, it's pretty doggone phenomenal. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, it, it would be in the running for my whiskey of the year. If, uh, no, it's, it's is, this is stellar. This is absolutely stellar. And this is, this is now my fifth time tasting it. So it's, it's went through my, my protocols and now I'm starting to give it to artists. That's kind of like my new thing is like, I start giving it to artists to taste and, but you know, it, it's hard for me to put it, put it in, into the whiskey of the year tasting I still, I still have some time to make that decision, but it's hard for me to make that decision, knowing that there's so few bottles out there and knowing that it's only in Kentucky. But you it, know, it would set a hell of a price on a bottle, though, wouldn't it? Uh, well, and I look at it like from a charity perspective, like that. You know, bourbon does raise a lot of money for charity, and it like, does. And and can you imagine the people that we all know and love? If you named Hopmare Whiskey of the Year, that would just 
really start rubbing people. <laughs> <laughs> it would piss people off. Which I mean, yeah, I, you, you're 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 accustomed <laughs> to pissing people off, as am I. You know, but uh, uh, I, I have to tell you that I was I was uh, really giddy when you sent this to me. And I laughed my ass off because you named it Hopmeyer. And uh, I didn't think, I figured we'd be seeing like a, another edition of a Old Settler. Why did you dis- Why did you give this the old Hopmeyer treatment? Um, I, I, I just, because we're giving it out to charity and to friends and, and family, um, I just put my name on it. You know, just, just that was... All, all it was uh, was for pure fun and enjoyment to try and help these charities uh, raise money to, to help do the right thing and and really produce something that I think is exceptional mm-hmm. uh, and and show it to friends. Yeah, it's really delicious, man. It's it's complicated. It's got it's got a note in there that I like called marzipan. So anytime I taste marzipan, I get all excited but you you did a really fine job here there's like some beautiful chocolate notes or some um pecans almonds it's just it really is gorgeous jeff it really is a, a gorgeous whiskey well, when we go when we go source the next seven barrels you can go pick with me from a lot 500 bottles of this out there only 24 to 40 on the in the kentucky market but you know coming to a charity near you hopefully hopmeyer that's so, it. Awesome. I do enjoy it. Well, Jeff, thanks for joining me. Now I'm going to taste this with uh, renowned artist Jay Pierce. He is really talented. He's done a lot of work for like Samuel L. Jackson, LeBron James. And uh, I know you're a big fan of art and you're just a just a general big fan of like uh, pop culture. So uh, I hope you tune in and are able to see what, what, what Jay Pierce thinks of the whiskey. And by the way, he's not a whiskey drinker, so I'm going to have to do some training on him. Uh oh. Okay. Well, look. I hope he enjoys it, and tell him to mix it with diet coke. Oh my God! You're killing me. <laughs> All, right, All right. Take care. Later, thanks. All right. See you. Cheers. Bye. And joining me now is uh, Jay Pierce. How you doing, sir? Good, man. How are you doing? Thank you for having me absolutely well it is it is good to have you on we like to have a like a number of guests we've had monster truck drivers we've had wwe wrestlers a lot of musicians but you are awesome you you are my first like legitimate like uh painter artist so i'm really stoked about this i'm stoked man i'm excited and you know sorry you know i'm not a heavy bourbon drinker or whatever but bear with me i'm i'm a newbie i'm a newbie we're going to train you right. You're going to, I mean, you're going to get training that, you know, people pay good money for the type of training you're about to get with me. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's, let's start. Let, let's get a, let's, let's get a feel for like some of your favorite flavors. Like, all right. So give me an idea of, by the way, uh, this is the thing we're doing this four o'clock Eastern time. Most people are watching this right now while they're at work. So <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's two o'clock here in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. So we do have a lot of people in the West Coast, and um, and I, you know, more power to them for watching us live. And if they catch it on the yeah, replay, that's, that's great awesome. too. But, Especially for work too. That's dope. Yeah. So okay. So help me. Um, we've got a series of flavors in here that are very pronounced. Do you like maple syrup more, or do you like chocolate more? Ah, uh, I'd probably go maple maple syrup, but then I do like chocolate. Okay, so, so I, would say, I would say maple syrup. All right, so we're a maple syrup fan. Uh, now, uh, are you familiar with um, a marzipan? You ever had marzipan before? No, I have not. Okay, you went. You're not the first that hadn't had it before. By the way, I usually get made fun of for bringing up marzipan. Wait, it's what like, is it? it? It's a it's a honey. It's basically a honey and almond kind of like, um, you know, pastry. You know, it's it's like a, oh, okay. a, a paste of honey and almond. Yeah, I haven't had it. Think of like really good like honey and, um, you know, nuts together. And that's kind okay. of the flavor. All right. So Sounds honey, warm. honey or maple? Maple. 
All right, so we're going to start with the uh, 14-year-old schoonover, uncut, unfiltered, straight bourbon whiskey, small blend, maple smoked, rested Ooh. and bottled in Brown County, Indiana. Well, they put a lot on that label. Now, you're an artist. <laughs> you're an artist. You, you're like, I, I that really think. That really cool. I like that bottle. I mean, this has got some coolness it, to it. It looks like the Undertaker urn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's crack the seal. Pop. Let's do it. Woo! Okay. Woo! So we we are we are here to train your palate, Jay Pierce. Now you 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 are rubbing elbows with all sorts of uh, all sorts of highfalutin types, and so you're gonna come out of this, and you're gonna be a train taster, and then people are gonna be like, um, you know, Jay Pierce, can you? I know you're painting for me, but can you come over here and you know, teach me how to taste bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably never be as official as you, though, man. Look, well, you got all the bottles. You got all the bottles in the back and everything, man. That's so eh, awesome. Eh, this is just work, you know. But yeah. you have you have like actual real talent. Like you can paint something. I mean, my stuff still looks like you I'm in third grade. Too, man. <laughs> my, my talent is drinking, drinking bourbon. That's my talent. <laughs> it's all I got. <laughs> But there's so, only few of you of your kind, man. You're the well, true. Well, there's you're only the, you're like the scientists of drinking. There's only a few of us because you get you get fat really quickly, and you know there's other you know other complications. But uh, it's actually <laughs> yeah. it's 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 a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I love what I do. All right. Okay. okay so How much here, do you pour? just just pour a little bit. You know, just, I mean. <laughs> but, Look, you can do that. Um, I had Ludacris on a couple of weeks ago, and he was drinking yeah. straight from the bottle. You know, I seen so. that. That's so crazy. Wasn't that like a fifteen thousand dollar bottle too? Yeah, and th that was on the high end, you know, for the bottle. Okay. But but it goes. Well, that was between... a pretty rare bottle or something it, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's That's, super rare. Bottle. It's cool though to see like all the different. Like, I mean, you just come to somebody who doesn't know about drinking alcohol, and they're like, "Oh, just give me whatever," and then you. I don't know. You then you come across like the high end stuff that's like rare. And then like the dude, the Jeff Hopmeyer or whatever. It just makes you feel like it's like exclusive. It's like a it's like a painting. I don't know. It's really cool how like it really you come is. across like, really exclusive like bourbons and stuff. It's dope. It really is. Whiskey is a lot like art. You know, to me, this is this yeah. is art. So, and some of yeah. it, some yeah. of it's better art than others. So, yeah. let's. <laughs> yeah, <but> <laughs> Let's get to okay. it. So first thing we want to do is we want to kind of look at the glass. We'll look at the color. The color can be an indication of its time in the barrel. So when it goes into the barrel, it's, it clears the water from your tap. And every single day, it's going in and out of that barrel, extracting the color and getting the majority of the aromatic properties uh, yeah. and, and the flavors. So when, when you know, to be bourbon, which this is a different style, but to be bourbon, it must go into a new charred oak barrel. And they are uh, those those new charred oak barrels, basically, uh, kind of like wood is used for barbecue. The wood, yeah. uh, you know, incites a lot of flavor in in the spirit. Yeah, like how they do like cedar and like like the different types of woods and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so yeah. so to me, like this is where the art begins. It's kind of like the color, because yeah. it, it gives you it gives you an idea of of its time in the barrel. And we are tasting right now, for those of you just now joining us, is the, right now we're drinking the 14 year old Schoonover uh, maple finish. And then we got the, we got the old Scouts uh, rye port cask. And then we have a Hopmeyer uh, 12 year old Kentucky straight bourbon. And you can see the samples I sent him with my lovely handwriting. So now that we now that we are all into it, so let's now let's so uh, we kind of like check took it checked out the color, and so check now, it out, look at it, and now and now we want to smell it. And when you smell spirit, you want to smell it with with your mouth closed and open, so you can see which way works best for you. But you'll, what you'll find is it's a completely different experience when you smell with your mouth open. So go in first like this and then just open your mouth slightly. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Dang. So, so that's crazy, man. It's it it is pure like um the, the whole thing is is the the nose, the palate, you know, it's all connected. And when you open your mouth, you're basically re relaxing your olfactory and you're allowing more than just the alcohol to come in. And so it, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's yeah. a really, really great technique. All right, so what are you picking up here? I'm picking up like the mapleness. Some that smoke. Stupid. Some maple smoke. <laughs> Multi. Not, it does not like, sound stupid at all. <laughs> some mis mesquiteness. Yeah. Smoky. It de it definitely is is bringing that smoke action. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now we put it to the palate. And when you put it on the palate, you just want to put a little bit on there. You know, you want to feel the. Good. See how it feels all around there. And boy, does it does it come with a big old wad of chewing tobacco for me, man. Ooh. It's got some tobacco and some like smoke in there. Yeah, it has some smokiness in there, boy. Yeah. Woo! This is uh this is ready to get you up and going. This might be this might be like uh, okay, so yeah, you're you start feeling your chest getting warm. You start feeling it here. So all right, so you tasted this. And we just tasted the fourteen-year-old uh, schoon over here. What are you? What what piece of? What does this make you want to paint? Shit, it makes me want to paint the Undertaker with the urn. <laughs> the urn is awesome. But honestly, I really like the bottle because it kind of reminds me of like a vase or like a uh, not a vase. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's cool. It might. I don't know. I could definitely do a cool version of my style of that bottle. I like the shape of it and everything. It's, it looks awesome. I like the the whole packaging. I don't know. That sounds dumb. I think it looks awesome. No, I, I you know, p packaging is very important. But seriously, it, though, it really does look exactly like the urn. <laughs> so if, there, if you look in the back, there looks like there's a dead guy back there. So they're, they're right. I don't know if you can see oh, it. Okay, yeah, I see it. You can see that. Yeah, it can see. I wouldn't be surprised. That's awesome, though. I love it. It, it, it honestly, that bottle kind of re well now with the dead guy, kind of wants me to you know create something like zombie day of the dead ish. All right. So yeah. So we have schoon over a zombie day of the dead ish, which is uh, I assume high praise, but uh, zombie vibe. So it gives him a good zombie vibe. So I'll have to add yep. that to my tasting notes for the year 2021. Uh, it tastes <laughs> like a zombie. By the way, so uh, <laughs> I have a – so my YouTube channel is a, has a membership community, and Greg Munson just joined. So big shout-out to Greg Munson for becoming a what member up, of the YouTube. Greg? For becoming a member of the YouTube community. So make sure you go in the community. We have all – we talk all kinds of shit in the community. So go in there. It's a good time. All right, so now we've got your we got your zombie whiskey picked out. Now, <laughs> uh, I think we now we go to we go to the uh, Old Scout uh, Port Cask Rye. Now this is only available in the state of West Virginia. See, Here that's it. awesome that it's only available in a certain state. It just makes it ex the exclusivity is awesome. Now, have you ever been to uh, West Virginia? No, have not. It's a it's a beautiful state, but I would love to. You just don't want to get pulled over there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you say that? You just don't want to get pulled over there. It's like I I got pulled over there, and I got like the nth degree from uh, from the highway patrol. You know, because oh. because we got Kentucky tags, and there's like this big you know rivalry there. And, oh, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's um, Kentucky and West Kentucky? Virginia. They 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 like try to one up each other. On oh the, dang! Okay, I didn't the, know that. On the ridiculousness. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, you're you're West Coast. You you all on the West Coast. Everything is so free and easy to you all. Yeah, you we're know? we're in the wild wild west, basically. I mean, you're just like everything's so chill. You know, no one yeah. really messes with anybody. Apart here Arizona's just real spread apart. It's just, you know, it's just nothing but desert. It's awesome. The weather's awesome now. And then, you know, in the summer it gets super hot. But it's cool, man. It's like we're in the desert, like nothing crazy. Like, I don't know. It's cool. Right on. Do you ever go out yeah. in the desert and just, for, you know, for inspiration? 
Uh, no, I don't. I don't do any of that. But like, I like to go on like drives or like, like I don't know, like just going like looking at like inspiration videos or like motivation stuff. I don't know. Like, I don't like. I I don't like need to go to the desert to get like motivated. But I've been to like Sedona or whatever, and it's like it's pretty cool. It's like you get this like energy. Like, I don't know if you have to look up, look it up or whatever. But like when you go out to Sedona and the Red Rock and all of that, I did it once and it was awesome. Right and like, on. yeah, I don't know the whole vortex or whatever, but it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Awesome. I'm sorry if I sound so dumb, too. No, no, I think it's great. You I mean, I so tell us like how so you right now, you know, you're a very highly in demand artist and I Thank mean, you. you're you're hustling, too. But. You know, yeah. Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson went on TV uh, just a few weeks ago bragging about you. And, like, I just think that's so awesome. I just I love how you've kind of, like, positioned yourself in a very important community, but you've evoked yeah. a passion in everybody. How have you been able to do that? Well, I've been on my own since I was pretty much, like, 16 years old. And, you know, I've gone through the ups and downs and all that and, like, been away from my parents and everything. But... Um, it's pretty cool. Like I started my art when I didn't have anything. I was living on my friend's couch. I was like painting shoes, clothes, just like painting on t-shirts and stuff. And then started leading to me painting on canvases. And, um, I, you know, I didn't come from a big background or every, anything. So like everything that you see, like, it's like done just all guerrilla marketing. I've been on my own. I've been doing everything. Just, just all me, man. All me. Like, like everything. It's all grill marketed and all of that, but it's been cool. Like I've been on my own since I was 16. I've gone through the, you know, whole ups and downs. Mm -hmm. um, it's built me. I've, you know, stayed focused through the years. I've been doing art for like, I'd probably say like 15, 16 years. And so every year it's just been growing and growing and growing. And then um, just this past, I mean, it sucks that 2020 has been like pretty a crazy down year for a lot of like, you know, for a lot of people or whatever, but 2020 has been one of like my game changing years because in the beginning of the year of 2020, that's when Samuel um, shouted me out on Jimmy Kimmel. And it's cool. It's crazy as hell because like, I would have never thought that my art would take me this far. And then like having like athletes, celebrities rocking my stuff. And then when Samuel hit me up, you know, I hit him up on Instagram randomly because he was traveling. Um, I forget where he was. He was traveling overseas last year and he was filming a movie and I caught him at the right time, right place. And he DM me and stuff and we just started talking. And then he gave me his number and his address and we've been in touch for like the past year. And he's like been like pretty much like my mentor and like helping me rock my gear and all that. So I send him all my new T-shirts. I've done plenty of custom shoes for him. Um, a custom Kangol hat. Uh, I did cartoons and stuff of him and all that, like the one that he wore on Jimmy Kimmel Live. And it's pretty cool because he won't really tell me like what he's doing, but he'll be like, yo, check out Jimmy Kimmel Live tonight. And I'm like, okay, oh shit. <laughs> and so he sent me a sneak peek picture and I was like, wow. And then just crazy, like he'll post, he's been posting like rocking my shirts and just sending me a, a, a photo that he's been rocking my gear and stuff. It's just like pretty crazy that, like, I remember hitting up my girl. I'm just like, dude, Samuel Jackson just hit me back up. And it's just like, yeah, dude, here, hook me up with shirts and everything. It's just a real blessing and all that. And then LeBron James rocking my face mask um, during the NBA bubble and stuff. And then um, I've had a couple of MLB players hit me up um, for artwork and rocking my gear and my face mask, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. And then um, just working with all these big collectors and stuff like one um collector i just got done doing a painting for i did this big los angeles pattern it's five foot by six foot same size painting behind me this one's for um dave and buster's corporate marketing dude oh yeah he's, yeah he's been with them for 10 years but i just did a painting this size for the owner of the arizona coyotes so i just did a painting of for them of a uh of an la pattern and then now they're having me do I did my own custom designs of the Arizona uh, Coyotes Kachina logo, the old school logo. So they're having me design warm up jerseys um, for the players and stuff when the season comes back. And it's just been cool, man. Like I would have never thought my art would have taken me to where I am today. And it's just been a blessing, man. I, I love it. It's been cool. Sorry to ramble. No, I love it. I mean, 
you know, it, it's kind of, you know, I, I have, I, I, I respect it, uh, but I also kind of identify it because like, I've kind of been through some of the same stuff and, and like it, you, you don't go to college to be a bourbon drinker. Well, I mean, you can drink yeah. bourbon in college, but you just, you know, these these things, you just really the just, what it comes down to is work, work, yeah, yeah, hustling, yep. work, hustling, and, getting it out there, not being shy, not not yeah. scared to talk to anybody, get your name out any way, every way, man. Yes. And by the way, notice Jay Pierce did not condone a direct LinkedIn message. That's annoying. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Have you ever done a, a DM on LinkedIn? Are you on LinkedIn? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm on LinkedIn. Do you do the Do you do the DMs all the time? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think they're I effective. I don't think they're effective. But I did it one time, and honestly, um, I think well, I just got the premium stuff, but I think I recently did it, probably like a couple months ago. But I seen it was the dude who um owns Converse or is like the president CEO, and obviously me. Wanted to see if I can show yeah. my artwork or something, nice. you know. You know that's that's a that's good. That's good. I, I just did two basketballs. Oh, wow. That is so cool. That is so cool. Actually, that makes me want to drink some uh, some rye cask finish here. Some rye pork cask finish. <laughs> Remember, I told you I like tacos. I love Look. tacos. That's awesome. <laughs> And then I did watches. Where can people buy this stuff? Well, this, the watches um, sold out. The basketball sold out. Um, right now, I have a merch shop that you can buy my tees and face masks and stuff. But, like, exclusive stuff like my skateboards, basketball, uh, basketballs, um, just products like watches and stuff like that. It's, like, really exclusive and sells out pretty quick. But I do, like, lots of custom shoes. Like I'm working on these right now. I do oh, tons wow. of like custom shoes, but my stuff is real colorful. These are in progress, so you can't really see. But I do a lot of crazy patterns. That's awesome. This is like a fabric that I did, so you can see. Just a bunch of good stuff. And then look, I even do uh, lucha masks. Yeah, that is um, that is badass. My kid was my yeah. kid would love that. So I've been doing. I don't know. I do like just anything that's just that just represents me, man. I'm like a real loud, colorful person. So clearly, as you can see, love it. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go to taste number two. The Old Scout Rye. It's a port cask finish, West Virginia, a uh, hundred and three proof. This is the uh, wait, th wait, and you said this was the the uh, old Scout Rye Port Cask Finish Smooth Ambler. Yeah. Okay. Smooth Ambler. I'm doing the mouth open. He's going in, folks. And then the color. Sorry, I'm all like looking at the different colors and stuff. Yeah, it's uh, this one's younger. It's only five years old in comparison to the other one being 14. But it's real fruity. It's got some nice, um, some nice like kind of grapey notes there to it. And again, we're tasting the uh, port cask. Finish. Yeah, it is. Man, this is awesome. This is my first time like really bourbon tasting because when I was drinking bourbon, it was not good the last time. What do you normally do? What do you, do you mm. normally do? You drink, drink something else or? Uh, I usually just have beers, yeah. honestly, like I'll, just IPAs or whatever. I usually do that, but I've been trying to like cut off, cut that off because like I'm just I'm getting gaining my dad bod mode, so can't I got to cut that off. Let me tell you something. It it it, it you got to do it early. You got you got to <laughs> you got to do it early because once you get going downhill, you get a roll, and then you're like, you know what? I don't need to work out later. 
and then you're eating pop tarts and you're like yeah i'm good i'm fine i'll just do it later and yeah before you know it before you know it you're 42 and you're like what the hell just happened to me yeah and the thing is it's just like you know i just turned 32 and so yeah man i don't want to play around and i've been i'm a real heavy like chicken wings burgers chili cheese dogs chili cheese fries cheese fries like heavy breakfast like just it's crazy dude like i love it and then like waffles all day french toast like i just get crazy dude i just eat like a madman i hear you there uh, pasta tacos burritos like that's why i feel like i'm gonna blow up you're a carb man you're a carb <laughs> man you like the carbs yeah, all man. right so sandwiches <laughs> Shit. So yeah let's what, talk about what does this what does the portcast finish make you want to paint that honestly makes me want to paint like a bowl of fruit or something fruit related it is fruity i don't know it's a pretty pretty fruity taste. How long does it take you to to paint something? Can you do it like Yeah, I would say I don't know, something fruit related, man. But how long would it take me to to paint? Yeah. Paint paint a bowl like, of fruit. Yeah, how long would it take you to paint a bowl of fruit? Uh, it, depending on like the smaller size canvas, cause this is a five foot by six foot behind me. So something much smaller, I'd probably say like a day. Mm. I work with acrylic. So yeah, it's like real, it's real. It's not, I don't, I, I don't have like, I, I think I have like ADHD and I don't have no patience for oil paint or like watercolor or any of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, and I think your stuff is very vibrant. You know, you definitely... It you know every like you said it's loud it's colorful, it's it's really it really is something I really do I really do enjoy your, your stuff. Thank you, man. And you know, I, and, I seen and, that you commented on the uh, the Tupac painting. Remember that? Yeah, I'm a I was a huge, yeah huge Tupac fan. Yeah, I, I'm actually the people. Remember I told you that people were coming to pick up artwork. That was one of the paintings that's getting picked up. Oh. I just did it. Yeah, that's so awesome, it's pretty man. good, man. I love that's one of my favorite Tupac paintings I've done. Tupac for life. Yeah. <laughs> so as we go to the hot mayor, uh, next one. Uh yep. this one is 125. 125 proof. 125 proof? 125 wow. proof. Yeah. Of a, a pure of pure greatness. All right, Jeff put in his magic in this boy. He, he right. really he really did select some good barrels for it. That's for sure. That's awesome, man. And how long has he been doing like bourbon and stuff? Uh, he's a he's a broker, so he's somebody who's been in the game for I want to say twenty years or so. Nice. That's that's awesome, dude. Oh yeah. It's cool too how you set it down like three times, you smell it, and then you get ready and then you you swig it. I got like I, I don't I don't always realize it. I got a process, but you know, we're Yeah. All... Yeah. Damn, and nice. you said what? 100 and what proof? 25. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, see, when I was drinking bourbon before this, the only other bourbon that I had was bullet bourbon. Oh, uh, what okay. is it? Yeah. Yeah, I had that, but I was having like little coffee cups and I'd fill it like that much and just take it back. And I was yeah. like, and my friend was like, bro, that's not the way you're supposed to be doing that. And I remember I had four <laughs> of those and I was like, dude, I am trashed. <laughs> Well, yeah, he was like, yeah, you don't do, you don't drink bourbon like that. Because I was like, what? I was like, yeah, I was just confused at first. Yeah, it'll it's catch my... up with you. This one, especially now, I've already tasted it like this a couple times. I want to add some water now. See, see. Yeah, Jeff stuff makes me want to paint a river. That stuff's so smooth. 
A river, huh? Yes. Mm. Just a smooth, calm landscape river scene. Something chill. Outdoor. And even yeah, do you good. do you have any do you have any water nearby that you can add to it? Uh yeah, I do. Yeah, add a drop of water in there. I'll be curious to see what you think of it there after that. So everybody, uh, Jay Pierce is my guest. He's off to get some some water. We're tasting this um, Jeff Hopmeyer's uh, bourbon. Uh, Hopmeyer, he is a broker, and he created this brand for for charity purposes. And it's 125 proof. It's a 12 year old uh, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And I got to tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. I just added some water to it, and it 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 takes it, it i just wanted to see what it tastes like with water and now jay pierce is joining us little, back i put a little whoop we better whoop whoop. Right. whoop whoop ed and again we, we have a lot of people who are at work watching us right now edward fulmer just wrote uh he's at work and he's getting paid to listen to us hell yeah that's the best way can't beat, that. Can't beat that. No, you cannot. Mm. So that stuff. You, so this makes you want to paint a river. A river? I don't know, man. You got me literally sitting here like trying to think like of what. It's so smooth and like tangy kind of. I don't know. Not if that. I don't know if that. Tangy? I don't know. That sounds dumb. I, I love uh, I love that tangy. I, I will say, um, you know, I say tangy all the time. So, like... Uh, it, tastes different. it tastes like not too much different with the little dip of water in it. It really doesn't. To me, there was no. a note that came out just a little bit more when we added some water and that was citrus. So, like a, like a real nice, like, um, you know, orange note. Uh, like a like a dried orange note, really, really nice. Yeah, there. yeah. yeah. You know? See, you're good at see, and you're like sitting here. Oh, I only drink. Like you're good at like pointing those <laughs> those flavors and stuff, man. That's awesome, dude. That's super well, dope. It is. It is the. Uh, uh, I guess it's my it's my paintbrush. My <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's your art, man. Hell yeah, dude. Oh man. So what else, what else you got cooking? What's what's what are you working on right now? Um, and how can, how can folks here find you? I put your, your Instagram handle, which is I am Jay Pierce. Uh, everyone go check that out. But, um, yeah. yo, I see bourbon Caesar said JP should do a bottle label. Yeah. That's been one of my, my things I've been wanting to do is like design a label or, um, there was this artist, um, cause he just did a collaboration with Hennessy on their bottles and the packaging and stuff. So yeah, I've always I've always wanted to design a label and like a packaging. That'd be awesome. Well, I know a few people. But, <laughs> but what I have going on, I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry about no, that. No, I was gonna say I, I, know, I know a few people who could use your help and tell you that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm down, dude. There's Anybody... actually it's actually kind of like uh, apropos, but Wild Turkey, which is one of these iconic brands they just announced their new packaging today. Yeah. They've changed their packaging like five times in the past, uh, in the past like decade for various brands. And, and it's, and it's like, you know, it's a little dangerous to do that, I think, but like you just, you design one, you pick it and you just stay with it, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. I've, and I've seen, you know, people have their standard logo and all that. But I've I've seen so many like drink companies like doing all these um, artist series and stuff, and so I'm yeah. like, damn, it'd be dope to do one of those one day. Well, Soon. Uh, I'll I'll tell you what, um, if you can play around with horses, you know. Oh yeah. Uh, you you will definitely you you'll definitely because there's a lot of horses in uh, in bourbon. Uh, and see, that's the, the cool thing is though. Um, like with my artwork, it's real cartoony. Obviously, I do, you know, like pop culture and iconic people like Mario and stuff like that. But I also do a lot of just like renditions and everything in my style. 
So I've been doing some horses and stuff like that, and I never do. And I've actually been liking it because in Arizona, you have this like huge like southwestern vibe, and a lot of oil painters do horses and shit. So like, and I've been wanting to do like my renditions, but my style is like real cartoony, like yeah. My Little Ponies, but not My Little Ponies. It's like, it's like real street art, urban art. So it's pretty cool. It's like a new look with like horses and well, stuff. Well, you've got a, you've got some new fans. Uh, bourbon Czar says he will trade you some bourbon for some of your art. So. That'd be dope. I know this fella's. I do a lot of bartering, man. <laughs> That's it. So yeah. Hit, so uh, Bourbon Czar hit up, uh, hit up Jay Pierce at I am Jay Pierce on Instagram. And uh, if you're not starting off with like a $200 bottle, then I will, uh, I will encourage uh, uh, Jay Pierce to get you in that $200 bottle range. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in your camp. yeah. I do a lot of bartering and stuff with my artwork. It's pretty crazy. That's like awesome. me and my uh, my buddy, he just opened up a dealership. Uh, shout out to Lawrence Motorsport in Scottsdale. Um, he just opened up a huge dealership, and uh, he had me design up all the, like bathroom murals and stuff in the men women's bathroom. And then he gave me like my own like gallery showcase area. And then he also wants to have me like paint there. Like, so it's pretty cool. But um, we traded out artwork and I, he ended up trading me a Corvette for some of my artwork. So it's pretty dope. Wait, you got your own Corvette now? Yeah. Yep. And I'm going to get it wrapped next because yeah. I sent you a picture of my wrapped BMW. Yeah. But I sold that and traded it to him. And then now I'm going to wrap the Corvette next. So, yeah, I did that. But I do tons of trades and all that. That's Expensive awesome. kicks, all of that. <laughs> Well, so he has uh, let the cat out of the bag, everybody. So if you want to get some of uh, Jay Pierce's work, uh, I encourage you to, you know, to uh, to buy it. But it sounds like he's willing to barter, and uh, bourbon is uh, he's got a t he's got a taste for the bourbon. So did so Jay Pierce? Did we win you over? Are you do you do you feel comfortable tasting bourbon in the future? Yeah, bourbon bourbon tasting is awesome, man. I love it, and. Awesome. Honestly, Fred, I'm going to have to do a cartoon of you, man, because I'm digging like the whole suit get up and everything. <laughs> well, so incoming, I, incoming Fred cartoon in my style. Well, and uh, I always talk to Andrew about that. <laughs> uh, I'll, I tell you what, uh, that will be that'll be one for the ages. And yeah. uh, I, I'd love that. I'd love that. I, I would say I yeah. would. I'll send you I'll send you some more bourbon. I'll send you some more bourbon. Yeah, that'd be awesome, dude. Yeah, I'll definitely <laughs> knock something up, man. <laughs> But everyone here is is like a huge fan already, thinking your art would stand oh, yeah. out on the labels. Um, you Thank know, you gonna... again, man. I appreciate you having me, man. And I, you know, I'm sorry too if anybody's like, "Oh, dude, this dude doesn't know shit about bourbon, bro. Get him the fuck out of here." No, excuse my no. language. But... Yeah, Believe no, me. I I just appreciate you. Like, this is something new and it's something cool, and you're awesome, dude. And I love what you do, dude. And you're like, you're killing it, man. I love it. Well, I appreciate you, and I'm gonna get some some of your art to put in my to put in the uh, on my show, and you know to have as a backdrop and to be able yeah, to yeah like, definitely you know, we'll talk about that. We'll do I'd, lo I'd love to yeah. be able to you know promote you some more. So or have me paint a bottle that you can put right there on the shelf right behind you. That'd be sick, dude. I, I'd <laughs> love it. I'd love yeah. it. Yeah, let's uh, let's we'll talk some more, but. Everybody, we'll make sure you're going and checking out Jay Pierce. It's I am Jay Pierce on Instagram. He is an incredible, incredible uh, follow. Thank you, man. And uh, we're just thank starting. you, everybody, for watching. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. And again, thank you, Fred. Tell tell people where they can buy your stuff again, because I don't know if it, it came across very well last. Uh, time. You can go on I am Jay Pierce or artbyjpierce.com. You could pull up my website, which is being worked on, but mainly right now is Instagram. I am Jay Pierce and I have my online shop, my merch shop and everything on my link and everything on my bio. So yeah, check it out, man. Check me out on Instagram. I am Jay Pierce. Right on. Well, everybody be safe out there. Uh, a lot of good things coming up to include my American whiskey of the year tasting on December 22nd. So Jay Pierce, thank you so much for coming on. Thank be you, safe. brother. Be safe. And hey, remember, vodka sucks. Me too. Remember, vodka How, sucks. Wait, what'd you say? Vodka sucks. <laughs> vodka sucks. Oh, my God. Hell no, dude. <laughs>